hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel and if you are new to this channel welcome just be sure to subscribe like and comment and join this community if you are a returning subscriber ring that bell and make sure that you get notified every time i actually post a video so in today's video i want to talk about the best financial literacy books that you can read in 2022 right so guys i've chosen the best here i've read so many trust me and i've chosen the best i've chosen books which i know that they have been impactful i've i've learned some principles that i live by even today or i've went and i actioned something which was very impactful in my uh, financial journey so also i chose um a very broader scope just to make sure that everyone is covered so from beginners to advanced investors you know i have you covered don't worry <laughs> i have you covered right so before we can start i just wanted to quote who what an angram right not to quote him paraphrase so to say so he says that 80 percent of the success on investing come from understanding the principles of money and 20 percent is you know actually going to implement it and he's actually right because you know if you understand how money works you're probably going to relate with money differently and then you're probably going to get the best out of your money because you will know where to put it you will know how to assess the risks of investments you will know when um an investment is legitimate or if it's a scam right so you need to make sure that you know you have the basics right before you can go and invest because there's so many decisions to make when it comes to saving and investing it can be confusing so we need to educate ourselves so that when we get to that world um of investing and saving we know what we're doing and we know our money is safe and we know it can get us the potential that it's supposed to give us right so let's get started number one i have the classic this is one of my favorite books it's called the richest man in babylon and the reason why i like this book is because it was initially published in 1926 however the principles that are in this book are still relevant to date this book speaks about money behavior more than anything this is something that if you get right shame you will be able to stick to your budget which is something that i struggle with every month but you know what see a mover because as you practice that money behavior you become better okay so it speaks about money behavior it helps you to understand what debt can do you know it can be vicious you can start paying one debt with another so how to manage it it speaks about uh paying yourself first you know it's one of the uh highly quoted um a line that you need to pay yourself first at least 10 percent of your income should be uh, saved right and also one of the things that i found impressing with this book is that it also um educate us on saving for the future meaning that you know you have to think about um how to save in a way that after retiring your lifestyle will still be sustained so it's a lovely book and just to give you a background of this book maybe because i love it is that um this book is a compilation of the different stories that were written in babylon back in the days right so it was compiled into the stories it's it used the same character but you know it's it's just different segments of stories and one of the most famous story in the book is called the richest uh, man in babylon hence the name of the book so um the guy who is rich a card um is the one who's giving lessons to his friends so that um they can know the secret of being rich and those are the principles you know the principles that you would learn from this book so please if you're beginning to um save just make sure you read this book also even if you are an advanced uh investor just make sure you read this book because it it holds like the real principles of money um regardless of what level you're in and then we have the famous um what's your move by our very own nicolette machile so i remember i met nicolette machile in 2017 and she was still talking about writing a book so when it was launched i made sure that i pre-ordered it and she actually signed it and i'm so glad that i got to read this book the beauty about this book is that it was written in south african context so she kind of walked us through her journey 
and the way she has engaged with money. One of the greatest stories that she mentions is um, her story when she was buying a car and she knew that she could not afford the car. I think the story is called um, Mustang, right? I don't know if the car was a Mustang, but yeah, the chapter is called Mustang. So she bought a car that she could not afford just to prove that she can buy it. So in the chapter, she's speaking about inflation, lifestyle inflation. And that's like, I only learned about uh, that from her. Like I've never read it anywhere else. And it's such a very important um, concept. So she's talking about, you know, when your salary increase, your lifestyle will definitely increase. So you need to make sure that you manage it so that it doesn't increase. You don't increase your lifestyle as your salary increase so that you can find, you can get enough money to be able to save. She also speaks about black tax, how you can manage it, because if something is happening to us, we need to be able to know how to manage it. She, she speaks about a lot of things. She speaks about shares and more than anything, she uses, you know, Africanness. So, Uberekisa, like our language, like there and there. And it just makes me happy. And it's a fun to read kind of book. I, I really love it. I really love it. So if you're looking for something which is not too heavy and it's very personal, like it, it teaches you about money on your day-to-day -day life instead of like giving you theoretical principles, this is your book. Because she also touches on Mujolo account. How do you date and how do you manage your, your finances with your boyfriend? You know, those kind of things. So this is your book by Nicolette Mashile. What's your move? And then we come to this one. <laughs> so this is one of the most famous books in South Africa. It has been sold a lot. Um, um, it says uh, manage your money like a mm, grown up, right? So <laughs> this is such a, a good book. I mean, when I started reading this book, I was kind of struggling because she saw us a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but um having to fall in love with what she was talking about i kind of forced myself to push right it's such an amazing book because even her she speaks about the basic principles of money which is budgeting right i think when you want to win in in, in managing your finances you need to get your budgeting right like it directs everything because it's in your budget where you decide how much you save it's in your budget where you decide um, whether to reduce on your subscription fees or your insurances or, you know, all those bank charges that you don't even know why you pay them. It's, it's within your budget that you get to decide that. So, so she walk, walks us through how to budget to zero, understanding where each and every cent that we earn goes. So I love that she focuses on emergency fund, things that can happen to us that can derail us from our saving plan. So those are the kind of things that she speaks about. I know later on she speaks about, you know, the difference between investing and saving and, you know, how to use both because both are important. When do you save? When do you invest? So this is your book. Such a lovely book. Right, and then we are coming to the fourth book, which is Make Your Money Work For You by Anthea Gardner, okay? So I love, love this book, simply because it was a gift from Easy Equity. So Easy Equity sent me this book, and ever since I started, the day that I started reading it, I could not put it down. It was just so lovely. So it is a transaction between, it was, it is a transaction between a person who's saving and now is eager to invest. So it speaks about the different asset classes, how they work. You know, it speaks about unit trust, how they are structured. You know, it speaks about bonds, how they work, government bond, private company bond. It speaks about shares, how they work. It speaks about hedge funds like how do you protect yourself from a market that is um dipping right um it speaks about different asset classes and how they work also it speaks about who is who in the zoo i'm pretty sure the title says exactly how i said it um on on one of the chapters um and that speaks about the different people who are involved with your money you know your asset managers your your bankers those people like what do they do and what are they looking into to make their account profitable right so she speaks about that more than anything when she opens up the book she's speaking to young people saying that they need to take advantage of compound interest as well as time right 
um she said if you are younger you need to at least you know be aggressive in your approach to investing because you have time on your side right if you happen to lose you will be able to figure out how to regain your money because you still have time and this goes back to the quote here warren angry that says you need to make sure you understand what you're investing in you know so that at least you um even when you are young, you kind of manage those potential losses, right? And also she speaks about compound interest. So as young people, compound interest plays in our favor. So when we start young saving, you know, we are able to make our interest and more interest. And then those interests also earn more interest. And then that's how we create wealth. So I love it. I think this is one of the books that I always refer back to. I'm Bea Gardner. I got it from Easy Equities. But, you know, you can buy it in the bookstore. And then, shoo, how many have I spoken about? Yeah, I've spoken about four. So, this is the fifth one. It is called Global Investing Made Easy. It's by Warren Ingram. So, I'm not done with this book. I'm like, you know, halfway. But more than anything, what this is talking about is the market. Uh, more than anything is speaking about stocks um, and how to diversify your stock from different geographics, different sectors and different. Um, um, yeah, so she's, he's, he's speaking about diversification. You know, you can diversify in, in geography, in sectors, in, you know, market capital. You know, you can div diversify your stocks. So that's what he's talking about. He's talking about creating an overall investment portfolio. He's talking about looking at your money, not as an individual, but as a collective. You need to understand how much you have as cash and how much you have as assets like your property, um, how much you have on your shares, you know, and everything. And you need to look into potential growth of each and every investment class and see how it's going to grow for you, right? And then when you do that, you should be able to identify whether the way in which your overall portfolio is growing, that will help you get to your financial freedom. So he starts by explaining what financial freedom is and how to calculate your value for financial freedom. And I believe each and every one of us should understand what uh, financial freedom means to us so that we know what we are working towards. And that should guide us in a sense of which investment vehicles do we use to make sure that we get to that financial freedom? How do we create this portfolio in a way that it will get us to the financial freedom? I think I enjoy, I'm enjoying this book. Like I said, I'm not done with it, right? And I have two bonus books. And, you know, I just thought I should throw them in there because, well, what is financial literacy without property, okay? So... I have this book, this book, and this book are the same book, right? It's called Making Money Through Buy to Let in South Africa. This one is called The Property Buying Process in South Africa. So this book speaks about the same thing. I know the title sound different and is by Francois um, Jans van Riebeek, right? So I've read this book so many times because every time I want to make a property buying or selling decision, I have to go back and kind of see, you know, what I need to understand. This book details every step of the way when you're buying or you're selling property. Anything you need to know, subletting, the law, OTP, everything that you need to know. You know, it's like a step-to-step -step guide. It's like a, you know, guideline. You know, when you have like a textbook uh, <laughs> in school and then they do... A study guide yeah it's like that so this one is fully detail detailed and this one is like uh, summarized right unfortunately this one is no longer in the market is no longer being published um this one is the one which they are currently selling i wanted to gift this one to someone and i looked and i could not find it so i managed to get this one so this is like your property best friend book like it will help you to understand what you need to know you know on the otp he will tell you what to be cautious about when you sign that contract or when you read that contract you know um, so yeah that's my bonus book but that's one book that property book it's one thing okay 
the second bonus book is this one it's stock files right stock files i think as black people we have embraced them and they have worked for us they have helped us so many times in so many instances right they allow us to have um the groceries at home they allow us to send our kids to school so i wanted to explore what could be done through Stockfall. So I kind of bought this book and I was amazed by the things that people are able to do that is Stockfalls, right? Because they've been revolutionary revolutionized, right? People are buying properties, people are uh in prop in, in, in farming investments through stockfalls. Like black people have kind of figured out the power in you know the buying power through being in a group like collective as a collective and they are using that to their advantage and i enjoyed this and it's a bonus book because upalesa the author of this book is going to be joining me in this channel to talk about stock falls and how they have evolved since you know whenever they started woman 1990 something they right so that's it from my side guys just let me know on the comment section which book you would like to read from the books that i've mentioned or if there is a book that you have read that you feel like it's very very uh insightful and i have not selected it here so that we can talk if whether i've read it or not or if i can edit also on my reading list okay thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and also click that ring uh, bell so that you can get notified when i post those videos i love you thank you bye